launch. Let's get you the very latest on this story. Clemence Bectate is the lawyer and coordinator for the International Federation for Human Rights. Clemence, thanks very much for speaking uh, to France 24. Uh, for those who don't know this story, what more can you tell us about the reasons behind the complaint filed? Well, um, we knew and we learned that uh, BNP had been sanctioned uh, to a record fine in the United States for having violated embargo. And as the Department of Justice in the United States had stated at the time, acted for the Sudanese authorities between at least 2002 and 2008 as a de facto central bank. Now, um, the issue for the plaintiffs and the Sudanese victims who we are representing in this complaint was to ask the question of whether BNP could be held criminally accountable uh, for these crimes on a complicity angle um, because there was no criminal action intended in the United States against the bank. So this is the question that we have been asking through our complaint, which was filed one year ago, and we're very uh, satisfied to know now that it has finally led to the opening of a judicial investigation. So that probe then today, Clemence, being confirmed today, you know, uh, French prosecutors getting on the case, if you will. What has BNP Paribas said about this to date? Well, we don't know yet because officially BNP is not a defendant in the case yet. Uh, we're still at the stage where this judicial investigation has just opened. The investigation will now officially start in France, will be led by the French War Crimes Unit. Um, and we'll have to uh, determine whether BNP could be held again criminally responsible for the charges that, uh, for which this complaint has been uh, filed and for which the investigation has been opened. So uh, we are still waiting now for progress in the investigation and maybe reach a stage where BNP could be called to court could be indicted and then be a defendant in the case. I mean, this has been a long time coming, as you said, you know, initially started a year ago. Uh, what do you think is at stake for BNP in all of this? Well, it's a really a critical uh, question that we're asking through this complaint is the link between uh, finance, the role of banks in fueling international crimes. Uh, can a, a bank, in violation of an international embargo, engage with authorities who are denounced, and this was the case for Sudan uh, between 2002 and 2008, engage with uh, such authorities, uh, allow them to access international money markets without being held accountable? And this is really the question we are asking with Within the uh, International Federation for Human Rights with Sudanese plaintiffs because we know it behind mass crimes, atrocities uh, such as the ones perpetrated in Sudan, you always find money. I mean, Clemence, just a final question for you. I mean, BNP uh, Paribas is a huge uh, banking group. Have there been obstacles uh, along the way in dealing with such a, a powerful company ultimately to get things to where they are today with this probe that's been opened? Well, I would say that this is what we're going to see now, um, if there will be obstacles. The, the filing of the complaint resulting one year after, and it's true that we've waited one year, but we also can understand it because of the, the confinement in France and the lockdown, etc., which delayed things, but had to our complaint had to lead quite automatically uh, to the opening of a judicial investigation. But now we will know if the investigation can proceed, can proceed swiftly, without any kind of obstacles, and if the judges are able to access evidence, information, um, and to, um, in, in their independence, ask themselves the questions of the criminal responsibility of BNP. So this, I would say, is what we're going to see in the next months to come, uh, if this investigation will be able to go through uh, okay. respecting independence okay. of French justice. Clemence Bechtart, you're a lawyer coordinator for the International Federation for Human Rights.